Luke Hoban is running right on the point. Oh my! What goes up must come down. Hey, it's Hex from the Overwatch League. Welcome to In My Sights, the series which we look at the game through the player's eyes. This is our special Grand Finals edition. We're going to be taking a look at San Francisco Shock, former Finals MVP, Cho Hyobin. He's going to play this Sigma here, and there's three things he does really well. He hits really clutch accretions, gets good value out of Flux, but to me, when I think of Sigma, it's all about shield management, blocking sight lines, putting it in the perfect spot that you need it to be. Small there, escorting his team up top, taking away every sight line possible. Just dodging the Hanzo. He's going to be squatted up with Moth and Striker a lot of the time. And easy as can be. There goes that sight line. Someone up top. You have to use your primary as a checking tool as well. Bouncing it around walls, seeing if you get those hit markers. Easy fight. Now Sigma oftentimes is going to take just a little bit of different off angles because that's where Striker wants to be as well. Shields out there. You never really want to let your shield crack. Not all the way. You want to recharge it. Just your head designs on getting Cho Hyobin. Super had other plans. Now this is a little bit of a weird one because Cho Hyobin kind of goes in the middle of a shooting gallery there. Gets taken down. But here comes the res. And now there's nothing they can do about this. A great rock onto Toby, and that seals the deal. Sometimes you feel comfortable making yourself as the bait out in the middle of the field when you've got Moth on your team. Easy push here. You had a sight line. Past tense. Had. Profit goes on this giant flank. No idea how they got no value out of that Flux, but the Transcendence comes in. Speaking of Flux value, that's a good one. Grabs three, and then I love how he uses the Flux movement. Just goes safely, down and away. No one can shoot him. Still taking away that angle from the Widowmaker on the right-hand side. It's a rock for good measure. Hey, Widow, still no angle. If a Widowmaker shoots, but there's always a shield in front of it, does it really exist? It's a nice shot onto Striker, because Troy Hoban didn't have a shield up. It was low, he was trying to recharge, and then there's just too much pressure. No res available for Troy Hoban. Striker got the res. Boy Striker going down there, it, it goes from a 3v3, and actually there's a Widow on the angle too, so... Just a small miscommunication. So there was no shield up for Striker. He ended up walking into a sight line. Preemptive check with the fire in there. Now he can walk in as the dragon makes space. Still bouncing these orbs. It's a nice accretion there, denies the breather. And that sends the Roadhog running into the corner, creates a little bit of space for his squad. It's another nice accretion. A lot of these fights are lost for San Francisco when Striker goes down. As the primary source of damage and the one who can take away high ground. It's really rough. The shield tried to come out there to save Ans, but the way the shield comes out, it does not provide cover at that angle. What a blessing in disguise, as then he has shield up to cover for the res. Gets the grasp in, hoping he gets shot at. Goes for the flux, avoids the dragon. Again, some of these fluxes are so defensively minded. 
The shield goes to the right side to drop off any help that can come over to the Roadhog. They're able to clean that one up. Nice hook there. He's in deep, though. And so many times, Soul brings it back just off the back of Profit. He can't account for playoff Profit. About three minutes left to go. Just bunny hop your way up to the angle you want. Maybe a little poke here, maybe see if you can get a hook. Completely safe behind that shield. But only 700 HP on that shield. That's why shield management is so important. Just letting it sit and charge. Check in pack room. Now he knows a Widow just hit sight, so it's time to put that shield up. Even if it's not at full health. It's very low here. Dragon comes through, and the accretion is just a little bit too late. San Francisco gets cleaned up in the corner. That accretion comes out a second earlier. He probably denies that. But Back to the drawing board. Primary checks in the pack room. Uses Grasp while he's in the Flux so that any chip damage that comes in is not going to affect him and he will live through it. Takes a rock there, but Super's there to clean it up with his Roadhog. Now it's just two people up top. Really, you just want to hit some damage in here so you can get the Flux to end it. Gesture becomes a hard target, but Flux is ready. Flux isolates the left side completely. Right side can't touch. Flux is such a great round ender. And these objective-based maps, payloads especially, when they have to be on the payload, just Flux it. Can't get there, can't touch, can't contest. Gets the last bit of damage he needs in there. Perfect shield placement all throughout. It's one of the reasons why Stryker was able to do so well. He always had a shield in front of him. One of the reasons that Moth is able to live as well as he is is that Choi Hyobin is just always there with a shield in the right spot. He's denying sight lines. And when you're playing against Double Sniper, that's all you really have to do is deny sight lines. Let's see what he can pull off here on the defense. So early on here, he's just going to pop the shield right here for Ons, see if Ons can hit some shots. Let's him know that shield's coming down, you gotta move. And they'll probably rotate. Again, Sigma is going to take the off angle a lot of the time, but the entire team of Soul rotates right side. Barrier's down, so you retreat with Grasp. It's kind of the one-two combo of Sigma survivability. Toby finds himself out in no man's land, gets pushed into the corner by Choi Hyobin. An's able to take him out. All the damage now gone. Poor soul. And gesture. Going on the gesture flank again. Shield there because Widow likes to hide out in that center corridor. Now he knows that last time Soul wanted to rotate through Hotel, so he's going to be guarding this, keeping eyes on it. Hit markers around the corner. Simple geometry. It's now Sigma's job. Yep, shield down, accretion to sit there. Survivability is great. Feels he's got a great angle here, and he does the one-two onto creative. Toby's in trouble, bounces that one in there. Joey Hoban just killed both supports. 
pretty decent for an off tank. Or a main tank. Sigma's in that weird middle ground. Just poking through. Soul's not committing yet. They have to wait for their team. Good old default spray, Choi. So now Sigmas are just poking at each other here. Gets a pretty solid flux. Uses the movement to get through again, and then just starts chucking it through on the dragon. Striker's in trouble. Choi Hyobin may go a little bit too far here. He's in a little bit of trouble, but he hears the Valkyrie come off and backs up, gets full healed. You can play a little more aggressive when you've got a Moth on your team. That's just respect. He gets solo ulted in the hotel by Marvel. Take that as a compliment when you get solo ulted like that. Although at the highest levels of Overwatch play, a single kill can determine a fight. Probably the right call from Marvel. Gonna come back here on Wrecking Ball just to be able to contest the point. And you know what? For someone who's not known for his Wrecking Ball necessarily, this is pretty solid. Almost gets the Widow there. Forces out the sleep. Able to stay alive. Just trying to buy some time. <laughs> Another solo alt. All right. You gotta respect Choi Hyobin. 2019 Overwatch League Grand Finals MVP Choi Hyobin. Even on the Wrecking Ball, he's getting solo alted. I got another pretty solid entry there on the ball. Almost is able to take down Marvel. Marvel's living in the pocket life. Just a matter of time here. Joy. Joy Hyobin gives up the ghost. Back to your regularly scheduled programming of Sigma gameplay. gesture on another monumental flank in the subway. I think he hears him, though. Hears him, spots him. Perfect. You don't really want to take that 1v1, though. The soul's got a pretty good setup here in a shooting gallery. Moth goes down. It was just so many different angles to try to protect there. Soul did a really good job on their second push of putting people at every different angle. And there's just too much. Time to roll it again. It's only a minute left. Again, a critical fight here. You feel if you win this fight or the next one at San Francisco. Oh, never mind, scratch all that. Soul's able to get the points, so they extend the clock. A lot of the fights are going to rotate around this room here, pack room. And Sigma's great at pack room. Just chuck them in there, hope for the best. Small space, projectiles at bounce, good combination. Shield out, shield in, shield out, shield in. The hogs cut off, and it's... Not to mention that rock, but it's a great play just to cover for his other tank. Just because you don't have a traditional giant shield on your tanks does not mean you can't tank for your team. Walks over his Roadhog with his Grasp out. He will eat all that damage, and San Francisco has stabilized. Always check up there for the Hanzo. 
Again, such a unique primary fire, you have to use it to its full ability. Solid Flux grabs a couple. It's going to get Gesture. It's also going to force out the Dragon. Rez is going to be there, though. Forfeits. Now you got to give up a little bit of room here. Anz has come alive. He's gotten a couple of really nice picks in the last few moments. Times that accretion very well. Able to knock Marvel down. Marv won. And this is where a lot of teams are going to hold last point. A lot of great cover. The shield allows his Hanzo to get in there. They force out the Nano. Moth is in Valk, so everyone's going to get good heals here. Flux comes in. It gets a couple people behind Choi Hyobin right now. But he's doing a good job of forcing the Hog and the other players behind him to not be able to do anything. There's no follow-up damage to that Flux. Now, Jesher's in a tough spot. Cho Hyobin just walking his way to victory. Mercy had no chance. No victory Flux, but he's going to check that window one last time with a rock. Picture-perfect shield management. Accretions are great. Hitting the primaries as follow-ups as Choi did so well. To me, Sigma's all about the shield, and Choi Hyobin understands what that shield means to his team when it has to be out, when he has to recharge it. Perfect play by the shield placement of Sigma. Choi Hyobin is one of the best. I like that Sigma play. Dare I say, I loved it. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel because... There is going to be some more in my sights coming up soon.